Yo, yo. All right, so last time. We are live! Back at this awesome ass story of Tales from the Borderlands. It's like I don't want it to end. It, 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 it just. Damn it. It's so, it's so good. Drop the earring back. I'm trying to. We back at it. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the um Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Hi. Searching for the robot's missing components Gordy. made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy waste of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Gila sent me a snip snap.
find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless splurge down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting No. Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. <sighs> I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's... It's genius. Alright, go on that three. One. Yes. Two. Three, go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. We need a shower. Get to the shelter. again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her.
Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gornas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and What's up, viewer? Who's that watching me? Say what's up to your boy. Treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. You couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Enough about <clears throat> Athena. Let's talk about what you and your friends. Hey! Hey, what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher. And you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just wish to be left alone. I don't understand. What did Vaughn ever do to you? Nothing. Just as I have never done anything to you. Yet, you hardly hesitated in offering up my life to pay a debt that you know nothing of. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. I will remember this. I suspected you would. Fine! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <gasps> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. This is not a negotiation. I don't even know what the fuck to say. Sorry. You're going to have to speak up. I couldn't quite hear you. Uh, hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Uh, somebody take this out. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Stop, yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave him alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh, great. Getting dragged away some more. I should be getting used to this by now. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. 